I rattled off 14 of 15. Got two five O's in the last two days. Then the stream comes on. When the pressure's on, I just 3-2. You guys, you guys just make me nervous. Dude, everyone loves a battle rage off the top. Right? Like that right there. That's my life right there. You can't, like, you've got to get your battle rages in while you can. Because it's just not socially acceptable. You can only battle rage at certain times. So when, when you're free to rage, you should rage. <laughs> I don't know if there's anybody in my chat that's left-handed, but I'm left-handed, and I think this is funny. Oh, my computer can handle this, which I don't know if we can. Tag a left-hander. It's got the pencil in the hand. It used to happen to me all the time. Dude, that was the best hit. That was the best draw of my life right there. Opponent resolves in Elspeth, and I thought scour into a postmortem lunge. Into a death shadow, two postmortem lunge to kill my opponent. Heater. Uh, I guess we're going to keep it. This hand's kind of anemic. We have a discard spell on out. It's pretty great. We don't need to. We that's that's too nasty. We got a card on top. What a jerk! Oh man. Whoa. All right. So this is like a Bant Spirit deck or Blue White Spirits, I would assume. This goes gets Watery Grave. I could get Steam Vents with it, but I couldn't get Steam Vents with it and cast. Thoughtsies. Yeah, I would say. They put it on top. So they have a land. So we just actually can't beat Drogs Call Captain Copy. So we're gonna take this cap. They're gonna take this captain. They're gonna copy their stupid rattle chains, probably. But whatever. Merfolk with paths. So like bad deck made worse. That's not a bad draw. That actually means we get to play Shadow 2. So. Alright, so. I could take. I could take this path. And then play my shadow, which I'm kind of all about. I just want to be like, dude, do you want to race? He went with the he went with the quote. Yeah, dude, you can't battle rage your opponents. Not really, Johnny. Are you playing another link if you got a second? I've got like I've got my old one. I don't have one made with ley lines. God, that is so sweet. I should have gone snap thoughts. See, this is stupid. I could have a two-one on the board. They violin an image, copy their rattle chains. I'm actually going to attack with both of my shadows because if they trade. Then I can get nasty. Oh my gosh, they targeted this with hexproof. That sucks. Oh my god, poor opponent. Wow. That sucks.
Yeah, I don't. I don't have. Unfortunately, I don't have a. Uh, I don't have a cyborg guide for this, Johnny. I'm gonna flash my Snapcatch Mage in. Okay, so serious question. Why play Grixis? Why is Grixis play more than five colors reverse shadow? I need a good answer, with not just guys. It's because of Snapcaster Mage. It's because each so Traverse Shadow is better against the degenerate decks than Grixis Shadow is, but Grit but Traverse Shadow is much, much worse against um that too. Traverse Shadow, well they're both bad against Rest in Peace. Traverse Shadow is much worse against um like humans. Humans is a really bad matchup. Um Humans is really bad. Uh, gosh, what else was I going to say? Humans is bad. The control decks are bad, especially because of Field of Ruin. Like, the whole five-color mana base is also rough. Like, it's just tough to do that, you know? I'm trying to, like, articulate it well, but it's, like, Field of Ruin really knocked that deck out because you can't play all the colors. Humans is bad. Um... Like, between all the control decks and humans being really bad, like, that makes the deck really tough to deal with. So, if I attack my opponent for 7, if they block here, they go to 7, the shadow is lethal next turn. I almost want to just flash the Snapcaster Mage in because I'm not ever going to use it. Just have it on the battlefield. I might not attack with it, but I just kind of want it in play. Well, now, if I attack with it, I can play Gurmag Angler and have Stubborn Denial up, which I'm kind of all about. So, this Gurmag, this... Whoa, they didn't block. That's sweet. It's kind of sweet. We just, like, ran the stone bluff on them. I don't know how we did that, but... We didn't even mean to bluff them, we did. Yeah, you can play that control game, which is really, like, what's... What's in what's like Snapcaster allows you to do. Well, not necessarily. So Death Shadow, Grixis Shadow, or Traverse Shadow is much better against the Unfair decks because you just go like Thoughtsies, Thoughtsies, Tarmogoyf, Death Shadow more often than Grixis does. So you're just a better, you're just like a better creature on top of that. You're a better deck on top, like with that kind of stuff going on. You're you're a better deck because you can play the, a more consistent game like that. So I'm gonna cut my street rates. I'm gonna cut two of these, and I think I'm gonna cut my denials as well because they only hit Path to Exile. So let's try this. We'll leave one denial. God, I hope I get a Dark Blast, this guy, into next Tuesday. Yeah, that's kind of the point. Like, I want, because I don't have Lily on the last hope, so I wanted one more card against small creature decks. And so I just wanted to try the Dark Blast, because the Dark Blast theoretically works with both sides of it. It fuels Snapcaster Mage, fuels Lava Mancer, fuels K Command. Yeah, we're going to keep this hand, even though it's kind of slow here. Exactly. This hand's too good to mulligan. I really hope I hit a land on turn one because I don't want to have to get like steam vents. Like probably getting steam vents is like an adult decision, even though I loathe steam vents. Oh yeah. Put on top. Put on top. Let me tell you about my boy, Grim Lava Mancer. I got a feeling that he's going to get passed. But if, if Lava Man gets passed, then I get it.
If my opponent flashes in something here, I'm just going to kill it and not draw the land. So we get Blood Crypt. Traverse is actually... Well, it's not a ramp spell, right? Because it just goes to your hand. It's like Lay of the Land. It's important to get two red sources when you have Grim Lava Mancer in play. I make that mistake sometimes. That cost me a 5-0 when I was streaming one time. Yeah, that Moreland Hot's going to be hard. If you look back on one of my streams a while ago, I think I played my best game of Magic that I've ever played against Banned Spirits one time. This Blue White Spirit sex one time. It's like Lay of the Land. Yeah, just call it Lay of the Land. Vile. Okay. It's going to be interesting. It is fun playing playing like, you know, because now we both try to lean on each other for mana. Like, I try to act on their turn. They try to act on my turn. A lot of times I'll let something resolve and then act on their turn. Like, it's literally, it's all about just fighting over mana. And when you time your spells. Like, when playing blue decks like that, that is where it's at. Like, how do I lean on my opponent? Playing mirrors that are all about flash speed. Okay. So we got to pay attention here. All right, so we're going to kill this again because we don't want this to get phantasmal imaged. And if this is a Phantasmal image, it just copies my Lava Mancer. We go down a lot of... Like we're getting three for one here. But um, we it just, we still have Lava Mancer and we have a Snapcaster in order to like bring us back. This is not a great trade for the home team, though. Because we don't want this to image copy Kira. And then he either has to choose to not bring the image in or image copy Lava Mancer, or he could just play Supreme Phantom. Which is now, a, it's, this is now a really good time to play, to play Snapcaster Mage and get a Lightning Bolt on. So now we have Snapcaster Mage in play, which is pretty great. So now we've actually got a body. I'm just going to hold back my Lava Mancer and pass. Because I don't want him to just freely go, like, draw a spell cap and copy it. And then we just, like, can't play magic. That's what we have to just avoid having that happen. Why is it when I have Lava Man play, they always have rest in peace? The struggles. So then moving that up to three definitely, like, lets us know. 
about some stuff because like they likely have something like a a whatever it is a uh, spell color they probably have something like double spell color because they have so much mana unless they're planning to start working on making one ones so this is a good place to start So this, this still trades. It trades with like my opponent's mana. So we're just going to shoot this down. We're going to slog through this. Because we still have a dismember. So if he were to go like activate vial, try to block, I still would have that covered. Now that we have plenty of like plenty of fuel for our lava mancer, and if we ever find our dark blast, this is going to be sweet. Yes, yeah, more than not, it's going to be very annoying. That card's very annoying. I'm going to fetch now. I'm going to get a tap land because it's important to like keep my light total high so that we don't just get like. Get punked by a Geist. Just get another red source. So we're just going to deal with this. Because we still have Dismember. So they might flash something in here. Or flash this in, give this Hexproof. So I should have thought about this more. Oh, shit. Yeah, I definitely just goofed there. I should have, like, I should have made them go for it. All right, well, now we're going to try to dismember the, this on their upkeep. I definitely punted here. Because now it has hexproof. This was a mistake on my end. This was also another mistake because now they can violate another lord, another captain. Yeah. I should have done this on my opponent's turn. But now, like, my opponent's kind of winning the mana advantage. Which is tough. So now we need to rip a removal spell, probably. I think I played my way out of this game. Like it was going to be a tough game. 3-6. This is... Yeah, that's... Uh, I, I yield... The Kiras are tough. I think I definitely... I definitely played my way out of that game. I think. I think I could have been more patient. Played slower. Alright, we're just going to get back into it. Keep going. Yeah, I definitely think I think I made I made I, I could have played better there. Definitely could have played better. I want one more Gurmag Angler on the play. I could buy that. Like this stubborn denial is not gonna do a lot. Let's get one more Gurmy. Oh, we didn't make it. 
We didn't make it. Moto caught us. So I would like to play first, yes. Uh, we're going to mulligan. Alright, we're going to keep this one. We don't want that. So let's check out our top card here. We don't want that. So we're probably going to have to play it pretty aggressively right now. They're drawing a vial. Let's 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 see if this is a legit strat. We hit a path too. That's sweet. We drew a land though, which isn't sweet. Snapcaster, Inquisition, okay. Give me the vial. Oh, you savage. You savage. All right, well, Battle Rage is, is part of what we need. All right, we're going to take this rest in peace. We're going to get beat up here a little bit. This is going to be a tough one to win. If we find a Death Shadow, we might win this one going away. But besides that, it is, is going to be tough. Now it's like that. Now it's like that shadow or bust. It feels like here. So I'm just going to deal with this. Well, I think this is maybe kind of loose. I'm going to deal with this right now. They can play another one, but it at least saves me life. And with these dismembers in play, with these dismembers in play, I think I've got to um, just save my life total as much. I don't want to get this spell colored. Is Throne of Geth really $10? That's wild. Play Athalia. Play your Thalia, sir. No, they're gonna vial of they should play the Thalia. No, they're gonna play their vial. And now play Thalia. Got it. Good sequencing. Alright, it might be might be a little slow. No, shoot, don't turn. No, I should have done that on the main phase. Let all these resolve. And then I am going to dismember this Supreme Phantom right now. Should have done that. And I should have done a response to that. This was just all poor. So we're going to take two points. And hopefully this Lava Mancer pulls its, pulls its weight. It's going to take four. So we're going to go, like, shoot trade, hopefully. I'm like, going to just hope our opponent has nothing. They have double vials. So, like, that is pretty unlikely. That's a good draw. So now we can go, like, hit push. Next turn, maybe snap push our way out of this. I don't, I'm not really happy with how I played this game here. We're trying not to play fast and lose, though. I'm not really happy with how I played some of these games. And we might, so 
We get spell colored, like, oh man. We just get phantasm. We just get, we just died of so many things here. Like, I'm not playing very well. I think we're pretty fortunate to be where we are. That's not a bad draw, because I'm just going to go snap push. I have three Colgons commands in my deck. Where, where are these Ether Vials? I'm just going to fetch a tap land here. Another red source. That's how we, that's how we jump back into it. There's like stone dead to a spell caller, but like whatever. Holy shnikes. Okay. There's just like no way around it if my opponent has Drog Skull Captain or Supreme Phantom. So we can beat Supreme Phantom. We can't beat Drog Skull Captain. So we just like push this and hope. I have no idea what they have in their hand. If if I like if if this works, then I have no idea what they're sitting on. Wow. No way. That even plays around a spell. They would have spell colored the last thing. Oh my god. I just said stone nothing. Worship. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna restart Moto. So give me let me pull this up here. I appreciate everybody for coming and uh, hanging out tonight. My name is Dylan Hovey. I'm a part of the Car Herder Network. If you guys like what you see, please hit the follow button. If you guys want to support me for, further, head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe over there. That's free. You should do that. If you're on YouTube now, head over to Twitch and follow my Twitch page. Uh, if you want to interact with me about magic, check me out on Twitter. That's all linked below, both YouTube and Twitter. Um, the stream is sponsored by Card Hoarder. Card Hoarder is the best bot chain in the business. They have competitive prices. They have a podcast. Um, and they sponsor a pro team. And last but not least, I forgot. Just lost my train of thought. All right, whatever. Lost it. Yes, I did play the game very badly. I've not played very well tonight, if we're going to be all above the rim. Above the rim. Yet, yeah, they just finished their podcast, unfortunately. It's still out there. But it, it learned. I learned a lot about Moto from that podcast, actually. Because, like, Card Horror is a Moto. You know, Card Horror is about Moto. But they just had the last episode last week. This is actually going to be the first Wednesday in like two years where it's not up there. I used to listen to that podcast all the time. That podcast came out like right when I got out of college and I was really struggling to find a job. And my, my wife, my girlfriend, now wife, um, was, was out of state. She was working in DC while I was trying to find a job. So 
I was uh, it was a tough time. Listen to that podcast; it's pretty great. Dude, you guys see this guy right here, number three on the trophy list? This guy cannot navigate a Death Shadow mirror to save his life. This dude here, like as soon as you thought sees him, the game just ends. Just can't even handle himself. Right here, dude. You want to beat this guy? Just turn one thought seize. That's all you got to do. He just can't handle it. It's a lot of Grixis Shadow videos. There's, there, there's probably like, there's probably hundreds and hundreds of hours of Grixis and Jun Shadow on there. I play some Standard and some Legacy as well. All right, I'm going to keep this hand and I'm going to see our visions on one. We should play him. Dude, you can't play him. If we thought season, him, he literally beats everything else in the format except if you thought season. him. He has a great no ley line shadow side list. Or there's no ley line shadow deck list though. His no he has not played ley line, and he plays the best non ley line list. Wow, they mold a three. All right, so I am going to go Watery Grave Serum Visions. I don't really want to thought seize them because they might concede and then I won't know what they're playing. My opponent's name is Equip Cranial Plating, so like we probably could guess. They just scoop it up, so they figured it out. Probably you would have control. Sorry, Johnny. When you finish, Johnny, uh, when I'm done, I'm going to send everybody over to you as long as you're still playing Death Shadow. All right. Um, should we just, like, I really don't want to. So, like, what kind of deck mulligans the three? Probably some, like, real volatile combo deck. Bridge Viner Tron. Siding in Leyline of the Void, I would have to have like a serious soul read in order to do that. I, I'm going to go with my opponent's a combo deck. I'm going to go with their kind of like a degenerate sort of combo deck. And I think I've got some sideboard. I've got four stubborn denials in my deck. But I still have some removal. So I think this is like a decent mix. So we're like this. I'm going to run to the bathroom and I'll be right back.
Do y'all know that cheesecake only takes four ingredients and it's super easy to make? All right, we'll keep this one. I hope I'm old as six again. That sucks. We could just be like getting punked and like this could just, we could just be playing Affinity. God, I'm old five. Oh, you called it. All right, so now we're just going for maximum degeneracy. So we need to get this Gurmag to go and play. Let's just take this bushwhacker. So they are gonna be able to blood gas me next turn. Okay, so we, we're gonna be able to get nasty. I kind of liked that my opponent mulligan that aggressively though. Like down to three cards. Like I think that means I think that's like a really underrated thing that people don't understand. Like him mulliganing that aggressively means that he understands how his deck works, in my opinion. Five, six, so I can go Thoughts, Seer Visions Plus, Street Wraith, Vampire Tribal. It's on top. So that's actually more damage, right? So let's see what they're drawing. Like Shadows, Shadows better than Angler. What are they drawing? A neonate. Neonate's not bad. We're not thought scour. We're not thought seizing them for sure. They might just ditch. They should probably should just ditch it right now. I still don't know if we're actually going to thought seize them. Oh, they hit a land. Okay. That's cute. It's not like they're attacking. They put a card on the bottom. So let's think. How do I lose? How do I lose? I guess my opponent draws two creature spells and doesn't play them. And I take too much damage. Guess that's how I lose. So do I play it slow? Are we playing things slow? Or am I making this a seven and cracking them? And then it's lethal next turn. It's lethal next turn no matter what, because I have a thought seize. I think we're just gonna. Yes. I think we're going to go to seven. I think we're going to put as much pressure on them having to chump block with this Viscera Seer as possible. Though if I go to seven and they go like hit a spell, draw into another dude, then Vengevine comes back. I block Vengevine. If I go to six, take this here. Yeah, so we're still okay. I guess if they go neonate, they can't even discard a card to draw one, though. 
Can you do that? If you have no cards in your hand, you can't do this, right? Yeah, I don't think there's anything they can do. I just don't think they can see two cards next turn. Dude, Philly returns tomorrow. Tomorrow this stream gets queued. We're gonna, we're definitely gonna stub a faithless looting here. Okay. Well, Johnny, if you're still playing, Grix says, if you're still playing Death Shadow after I'm done here, this will probably be my last league. Then I will ship all of my viewers over to you and watch while I update my uh, while I put my YouTube videos up. Dude, this person just came up in my suggested Facebook friends list, and his profile picture is a ton of life. So, like, I like this guy. What doesn't grow dies, and what dies grows the ton of life. Piggy Norton, what a cool name. His hand's like good, not great. I would like if if any one of these cards was a death shadow. Okay, so now my hand's three piece. So we're gonna hold this street wraith one more turn. Likely cycle it next turn. We're going to take a search for Azcanta. Because I cannot beat that card. That's a pretty good draw. So I'm going to fire this off. If this just resolves. So I kind of want to take this path to exile and then snap thought sees take the supreme verdict and try to maneuver the game to where my stubborn dial can trade for this cryptic command and really blow my opponent out. I think that's kind of where I want to be. Though I'm going to start with the verdict, because the verdict is worse for us than the other one is. I'm going to cycle this now to find something to do with my mana. Yeah, so that was a pretty nice draw. I do need to be very I need to be wary of my life total though. Because like this colonnade is coming here. <sighs> we have to find some kind of gas. Put a card on the bottom. You just shuffled your card back in, dude. That is so bad. That card is just going to kill me. And it's unreal. Oh my god, we're going to lose this game. He probably just doesn't take anything. Yeah, we're just dead. Oh, that click was dirty. Oh, I didn't think about that. Oh. Take me out to dinner. I just got turned three by the... Uh, I would I could have feared if I had, like, taken damage. I could have just gotten turned forward by the control deck. Bring these in here. Bring these cut this cut this cut this all right we definitely can tangle with the crypt like this card lines up really well against like crypt command
Yeah, that one was just kind of feel baddy. I probably could have played that game a little different. Like I was definitely very aggressive in my life. So how's everybody in the chat doing today? You guys have a good day, good weekend. I had a pretty solid weekend. I got second at a PTQ, which is like a dagger. Uh, I'm going to keep this hand. Hope we hit a land. Uh, no, I should have mulliganed. This hand's so bad. I like went off my first instinct and like didn't think critically about it. That's tough. Because we have to go like runner runner really in order to have like a good good way to go with this hand. God, like why how do you keep these decks, these these things as a control deck? I guess I just take like this Vendillion click. Or just take Snapcast Mage, take Click, and then hopefully just find a way to deal with this. Which version? Which version are they? Land. I deserve that. I deserve that. Now I just want to take the Serum Visions and like really get them. I think I'm going to. Yeah, I deserve that. The appalling glacial fortress art. You just get tilted for like such such the easiest things there, Archmage. I'm gonna dismember the shit out of this Vendillion click. Well now they're just gonna like take it, but whatever. God. This has been unfortunate. My opponent should probably take. They just. What do they do? They turn it themselves. That's a good play. Not enough people click themselves. Yes. Put target creature second from the top. Ugh. This colonnade is just like coming. The Bane Slayer Angel is just like coming. We're just we're just so dead here. But acceptable. Because so I have to like I have to kill this Vendillion click. I have to kill this Bane Slayer Angel. I have to kill this colonnade. Maybe it's right to leave in a push or two against this deck. Like if they're if they're boarding in this creature thing. All right, I'm just going to dismember this. Hopefully I draw a land, so if they Bane Slayer Angel me, I can dismember it, and then I can just die to this Colonnade. Or they can just Cryptic Command this, and like, yeah, that's 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 good. Yeah, I should have mulliganed my hand. I knew it right afterwards. It was just a super greedy, very poor hand. Yeah, that was just not good. Hopefully I can tighten up when the last two. Cash one league tonight. It's not cash because we have three two in the other one, but like do well. Yeah, I was just like, ugh. Not good. Not good. The sec like, yeah, click his main deck, and I always forget that. It's 
Street Crusher 1919. <laughs> All right, we're going to bubble in this hand. Heater, kind of. Um, I guess we want this. What did play? Else? We're playing as Burn. No, we're playing as Skate Shift. Okay. So I'm going to look at our top card. If I want my top card, I'm going to hold up Stubborn Denial. If I don't, I'm going to Thought Seize them. And I do want that card. We're going to get super punished here if my opponent just jams Steve. But hopefully they go Far Seek. Or they just don't do anything. What a jerk. So we're going to start off with the Serum Visions. Interesting to know, my opponent can just Blood Braid Elf me next turn. It's going to take some pretty sweet... Like We're going to have to do a lot of, a lot of Bobble, a lot of Street Wraith action to get here. I don't think we want either of these. Now let's just thought seize. So we're not losing this game to escape shift. All right, I'm going to take one of these wood elves because they're a blocker. Just taking a ramp piece. We might lose this game. Goes wood elves. Wood elves get some land. Probably get some cinder glade. They play land. Okay. All right. Don't kill me. Don't go land ramp spell scape shift. Get a land. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oof. I just went like poorly all the way around. Just went very poorly all the way around for us. Ugh. All right. Yeah, we're going to go like this. Keep my dismembers in because they have the Bayloth. I've seen this deck play Thrag Tusk too. But Thrag Tusk isn't as common because you can't play it on three. I don't think it's a bad card. I just don't really like it. It just doesn't do anything. This hand doesn't get a Death Shadow into play. Doesn't cast Gurmag Angler. All right, we're gonna have to like have to some miracles happen, boys. Do you have multiple six card hand? Is that what you're talking about? Ugh, that sucks. We milled an angler, which is probably not bad, considering there's a relic out. Oh man. Alright, so draw a prime time. Right, so there's our land. So hopefully we draw Thought Seize. Hopefully we draw any way to get Death Shadow into play. 
another relic. Come on. I think I'm going to flash this Snapcaster Mage at the end of their turn. Especially if they don't play like a blocker here. Because it's so, like, with, um, with us, with me having a Death Shadow plus Battle Rage, it's really not going to take a lot to just kill my opponent. So, I think I'm going to just flash this guy in here. Plus, I'm just never going to be able to use it. Wow, they're just going to miss their land drop to not... I hate how people do this on Moto. They like wait to pass priority to see if you've F6'd and then do that. So they didn't hit a land drop. So they got Primeval Titan and a bunch of spells. That's a pretty good draw. We can also, now we can hold up Disdainful Stroke as well. We just have to really hope that my Death Shadow doesn't get Lightning Bolted. Don't bolt my shadow. Come on, one time. Don't bolt my shadow. Okay. You can get forest cards, so that's pretty sweet. going to keep chipping in here because the more damage, the more potent a battle rage becomes. Really naked to a lightning bolt. But at least these strokes are decent. Probably just going to cycle one of these relics. Nope, they just get the stone. I'll take it. Okay. I've always been very, very, um, Very whatever it is with these relics. Very conservative. Okay, so here comes Titan. So Street Wraith and the Fetchland wins. If we don't figure out how to grow our shadow next turn, then a land kills it. So we got to fetch and deal five because we don't want to land just killing our shadow. But this means that they're dead through a blocker and we have a counter spell for whatever they're doing. And they can't go like scape shift, scape shift. So I think we're good. I think I've been holding on to these relics too long. But like, I guess they've also just been like tapping out every turn. Okay, tracker's good. Steve is annoying. So if my opponent has a bolt in their hand, we could die. So let's go like this. So let's see how they block. Because if they just block with Steve, we got it. And now they have to go, like, sack Steve, bolt this shadow, bolt this shadow, and we can cycle Street Wraith. I guess I was also pretty, pawn, pretty like, basically going for it after I cycled that Street Wraith. That, um, I was going for it with the Street Wraith after I cast this Battle Rage because I didn't have Stubborn Denial or didn't have Disdainful Stroke up. Um... I guess, hang on, don't do this, don't do this, Moto, I didn't think. Uh, let me get one more, let me get one more of these. God, I wanted another bolt after I saw the Tyler Strikers. I just, like, quickly an auto, auto in there.
Oh no, we're good. So let's get one more of these. Let's just kind of go my gangler. Oh no, three volts is probably rough. We probably don't need all the Snapcaster mages though. Let's try this. Just try shaving two graveyard cards for two interactive cards. <clears throat> My opponent's taking a lot. I mean, I don't really think this is a play draw sideboard matchup here unless they're doing something, which they, they could be. So, I don't know. Maybe they'll. I mean, I hit submit, right? Like, I'm good here. All right, whatever. Nope, we're gonna mulligan this. I thought I'm old too. This hand's great. This hand is likely going to be a bolt yourself kind of hand. That's a wicked. That is a wicked good one. So it's kind of interesting what I fetch on one. So I'm going to cycle my Street Wraith now because I want this to be a blue-black land or a black-red land. The swamp's messing me up. Hopefully I hit another land right here. Okay, great. What's it like? Get rid of this. Now let me watery grave. Now I can kill him before he gets this right. Before the escape shift matters. Yeah, we're going to get him before he gets seven lands. We're playing shadow next turn. It's going to be massive. And then we can have dismembered even grow it more. They ditch search. They play this. Okay. Let's get steam vents. Play our boy. We're gonna play around lightning bolt. We didn't see a lightning bolt from them in the second game. I think I'm just going to untap. I don't want this thing to get bolted. So now we just attack, bolt ourselves, two turn clock. Oh, shoot. No, I guess that wouldn't, that wouldn't have worked. Two turn clock. I guess this is a little loose because now if they have double wool, I die. I didn't really think about that. I didn't see a bolt in game two though, so maybe they boarded them out. I should have thought about that more before I did it though. Like that was that was pretty loose. It doesn't look like we're gonna get punished. I 
We're definitely going to untap to dismember something, though. Like, we're going to go full retail on the dismember. Steve. Got it. So let's untap, get rid of this, and hopefully we kill them. You got two bolts? No, they don't. They only got two cards and one's escape shift. Got him. All right. Let's get the 4-1. Come on, chat. Let's get our 4-1. Let's walk out of here. Up nine chests from the stream. Up nine chests and 60 play points. That always sounds good to me. I wish we could trade the play points. If you guys are just hanging out in the chat and you are new to the stream, please give me a follow. I would appreciate that. And if you guys want to miss anything here, want to catch the archives, head over to my YouTube channel, which is linked below. You can check that out. Besides that, I appreciate everybody for showing up and hanging out tonight. Playing some sweet, sweet Death Shadow deck. I don't know when I'm going to be streaming again. I know I would like to stream at least one more time this week when my wife gets home. I'm going to want to spend some time with my wife. I haven't seen her in a while. Uh, his hand's great. He's pretty good against a human's deck, too. So... Playing against elves, it's not bad against elves. It's actually pretty reasonable against elves. So let's check out our check out our top card here. See if we want it or not. We're looking for something like a battle rage, basically. Battle rage snapcaster. Snapcaster is Dece. We're going to let them hit us here so that we can play our shadow next turn. Just cleans our turn. Like, we can go, like, kill something, shadow, kill something. It's a good setup. No plays. Interesting. All right. Let's go get a blood crypt. And I'm going to fatal push this. Battle Rage is the nut. Now we can stub something like a lead the stampede. All right, pedal to the metal, ladies and gentlemen. I'm trying to crack for four. If they don't have a play, I'm going to snap bolt myself and then battle rage them. Which is exactly 16. They have a play. So now I'm just going to snap bolt that. No, I'm actually just going to snap bolt myself again. Because then if I draw like anything, it kills them. And they still have to like, we're basically still trading because they have to chomp. They don't chomp next turn, they're dead. They have to block Snapcaster Mage, which we're cool with. If they don't block, they're just dead. Okay, let it go. So now we're going to go Inquisition. Just take this Archdruid. So if they want to have a play, they have to deal us damage, which isn't great. They're just dead. Yeah. Yep, yep. Yep, yep. All right, so Dark Blast.
Um, I feel like I don't want Gurmag Angler. My discard spells don't seem great, and my counter spells seem kind of medium. They have lead the Stampede. I could try this. I don't really want to board in my K commands. Yeah, let's try this. Let us try this out. Hopefully this is the last game of the night. We get them. We get the 4-1. Sell some treasure chests. Mulligan. Yep, keep. Pretty pretty solid here. Put this on the bottom. We're just going to look for some interaction. We got on one, bud. Thought seize. I'm going to take my Lava Mancer. That's the reason why I kept the hand. I hope there's a Lava Mancer on top. No Lava Mancer. This seems like a loose card to board from this deck. It's going to get us, though. Man, if we had that... Uh, we had that, whatever it is going, we'd be in good shape. Yep. So now we're looking for bad. We need battle rage now, basically. We need battle rage, and we need to not have. We need to have our opponent not have anything else that is relevant. Or we are going to die. Unplanned territory, okay. They're flooding out, they've hit four lands. Take this on the chin. So that's going to let us get nasty or snap back a removal spell. Then maybe start to make some inroads. Wow. It doesn't do anything because our shadows are ones. I guess I can set it on two. Oh, I should have played Angler. Oh, that was bad. I'm getting tired. Should have gotten nasty. So they're probably going to cord for an Azuri here, if I had to guess. Oh, that sucks. Missing that. Milled over a lava mancer. So now we're gonna bully him. I might not fetch because I don't want to like have them go lord into shaman of the pact and get me. Yeah, I mean, they're going to have to do a lot of chumping next turn. God, they just have nothing. Dwayne's Elite, that is something. Dark Blast would be sick here.
let's cast this. Have I dealt away my island? No. So let's go get my island. Hit this. Okay, so we hit Battle Rage. So, block, 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 take two. If they have a Lord, let's just say I attack with one shadow. If they have a Lord, they go. we go block, 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 take four. Okay, I'm going to get in here with one shadow. It's going to make the Battle Rage much, much better next turn. And now we're just shipping sideways with the team. Uh, I need to pay attention to not die to a corded floor, whatever it is. I need to not die to a corded floor, um, whatever the dumb card is, I can't even think. Uh... Quarter four shaman in the pack, but I think this does it. So we just flash in Snapcaster Mage, target Battle Rage. Battle Rage is the Gurmag Angler, so they can't abrupt decay it. All right. All righty, everybody. List went okay today. I didn't play very well, but I still went 7 3 on the stream. Um, lost the Storm once, which kind of feels bad, but you know. Sometimes that's how it ends. I'm going to send you guys over to my friend here who is streaming some Death Shadow. Please take it easy on him. He doesn't play it too, too much, but he likes the deck. Um, so let me just get this going here. All right, I will see all of you guys sometime this week. All right, follow my Twitter to check out when I go live, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their night.